Hurricane Michael took its toll on much of downtown Panama City, including St. Andrews Towers. The senior living complex was badly damaged. It's taken all this time to rebuild and let residents back in. Tonight, News 13's Melissa Thomas has the story of a woman displaced by the storm who is finally able to go home. In downtown Panama City, the senior citizen residential complex St. Andrews Towers was destroyed by Hurricane Michael two years ago. Regional manager Donna Golima says that forced residents out and halted waiting list approvals. Right now we're in the middle of reopening St. Andrews Towers. We have move-ins going on. We have about four to six a day, people moving back into the building. For Teresa McKinney or Granny T, that means hope. Hurricane Michael destroyed her home while she was waiting for an opening at the towers. That's when her friend Megan McDougal stepped in. Said she'd be there in 30 minutes to get me. And she saved me from not having anywhere to go. McDougal wasted no time picking Granny T up from a hurricane shelter and took her home. I just called her and went and got her and um, I said, we're just going to figure it out. Granny T would become part of the family for the next two years. I do want to say this and I would like for everybody to know this. This storm gave me five grandchildren. A true silver lining through her struggle. I, and I'm so excited to get my own place back though. Even though this has been a good thing, you just need your own space sometimes, especially when you get my age. Golima says it's an overwhelming process, but they are working hard for the community. We are in the process of trying to get our elderly rehomed as soon as possible. In Panama City, Melissa Thomas, News 13 Panhandle Strong.